What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you how to make a film or video without using a camera or camera phone. How is that possible? Well, I'm going to demonstrate by making a mini movie on the spot right here, right now. Let's get started. Here are the things you'll need. You'll need a laptop, preferably one that can screen record, something to record sound with. I have a Tascam DR22WL handheld audio recording device. It's a great device. I love it. I've had it for a couple years now. It's relatively cheap. I think it's around $100. You can take it on the go. It's on the move. It's crisp sound even outside. I've used this in my documentary, The Endless Season, um, and I got great sound out of it. It's durable, battery powered, and it, the battery lasts a long time. I use it as a secondary audio recorder as well for interviews, and sometimes as a secondary audio, it comes out in the boom mic audio I produce. Um, so I highly recommend this device, this audio recorder, Go find it on Amazon. I have an affiliate link below. If you're looking for something like it, like this, go check it out. Um, it might suit you. So yeah. You're also going to need a YouTube video converter. I use ytmp3.cc. And you're going to need a movie making software. iMovie, Windows Media Player, Final Cut Pro, which I have, um, Premiere, Adobe Premiere Pro, something along those lines, just a movie making software where you can make edits. Now that we have some tools, let's generate some topics we can talk about in our mini movie. I'm going to go to a topic generator site and choose three topics to try and interweave together for you guys today. And it's gonna be completely random. Okay, so the first topic that popped up when I first initially got to the site was about fantasy sports. Since I am predominantly a sports documentarian, that is up my alley, so we'll keep it with that. Most beautiful place. Uh, well, I live in Utah, so there's a lot of beautiful places outdoors to choose from. But being that skiing is really popular, and the GOAT, Michael Jordan, likes to ski, and he owned a house out here in Utah, we will do Park City, Utah. A book that has changed my perspective. Um... Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Okay, so now that we have the topics, it's time to gather the content. But first, this is a great time for me to break down the fair use doctrine and how filmmakers can use it to their advantage if they are following the rules correctly. Like I said, I use it for my own videos and films. Fair use is a legal doctrine that promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyright protected works in certain circumstances. Section 107 of the Copyright Act provides that statutory framework for determining whether something is fair use and identifies certain types of uses, such as a criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research as examples of activities that may qualify as fair use. Section 107 calls for consideration of the following four factors in evaluating a question of fair use. Purpose and character of the use, including whether the use is of commercial nature or is for nonprofit educational purposes. Nature of the copyrighted work. Amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. And lastly, effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. Here, courts review whether and to what extent the unlicensed use harms the existing or future market for the copyright owner's original work. In assessing this factor, courts consider whether the use is hurting the current market for the original work and or whether the use could, be ca could cause substantial harm if it were to become widespread. Essentially is, are you affecting the pockets of the original copyrighted work? And this is coming from the Copyright Office, so this is a reliable source. Go to the Copyright 
I think .gov website and uh, you can look this information up or just Google it. I'm just going to fast forward through all the movie making process so it's easy. Now I'm going to write out the script and hopefully it will make sense. Okay, the script is written. Let's make the movie. As you can see, I added audio, some music, and cut up the videos we plucked from YouTube. Now we will save and export the file. Now that we have a movie, sit back and enjoy this quick piece. Michael always had a little game going with everyone. I ended up shooting a 78 and beat him one day. I've heard this story a couple of times. Once from Chuck Daly, who told me that in Barcelona, he beat you at golf when you were there for the, the 92 Olympics. Right. He beat you one day. You came to his room at 4 o'clock in the morning and said, let's go back out there. <laughs> so we went, we, we played around, beat him for a couple thousand, and I'm getting ready to leave. Now, Bulls are playing that night. They play <laughs> Cleveland that night. So I'm, I'm thinking he's leaving. It's 10 o'clock. He's like, no, let's go play again. So he goes and we, we fill up a bag full of ice and Coors Light and we walk again. <laughs> we, we roll around another 18 and I take him for another couple. And uh, Couple. yeah, and, and now we've been drinking all afternoon. Now he's getting going from Sunset Ridge to, to the stadium to play a game. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, mess, I'm like messing around. I'm like, I'm gonna call my bookie, and I'm, I'm a yeah, all the money you that you just lost to me. I'm putting on Cleveland tonight. <laughs> he goes, I'll tell you what. He goes, he goes, you, I'll, I'll bet you that we win by 20 points, and I have more than 40. I'm like done. Son of a gun goes out, scores 52, and they win by 26 or something uh -huh. after 18 holes of golf. And 36 holes of golf. 30, uh, 36 holes of golf, golf and, and having like maybe 10 Bud Lights. What if I told you the greatest basketball player to ever live had a competitive problem so deep that he could mess up your fantasy team or sports bet? Michael Jordan is known for his reckless gambling habits in fantasy basketball. Prime MJ would be the number one pick in everyone's league. You don't think these games are rigged, but they are. Jordan will single-handedly ruin your sports betting night with his own skill. His skill comes from possibly his mindset. That mindset was brought up in the book Think Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, where if you think you're going to be amazing, you're going to be amazing. The thought has occurred that you aren't really gambling with money. You're gambling with your reputation. Gambling with your good name. What would they consider my good name? The purest of all pure? The person that doesn't make mistakes? Think you have a gambling problem at all? No, because I can stop gambling. I have a competition problem. Even on his off time, he can't stay away from his gambling habit. Even if he is in a beautiful place like Park City, Utah, near Salt Lake City, where Jordan likes to ski on some of the best slopes in the world. If he isn't skiing, he is golfing. And if he is golfing, he is gambling. Unfortunately for Jordan, word around the Salt Lake City streets is, and mind you, these are just rumors that I have heard around the city. Jordan lost a huge round of golf to a high-ranking criminal and didn't pay up. Not surprising. Jordan never pays up. Now, he is not allowed to visit the beautiful Park City slopes. And apparently, he had a house in Deer Valley. And supposedly, he was forced to sell it because they're not playing. Jordan was a fantasy basketball gem. His competitive ways made him do crazy things to one-up people in gambling. But the downside is, if you don't pay your gambling debts, then that gets you in trouble and not allowed to go places. Hopefully you gained a lot of value from this video and will now be able to make a movie or video without a camera or a camera phone. Just a couple plugs to end up this video. I am a documentary filmmaker, like I've said in past videos. I have a new documentary out right now on Amazon, iTunes, a lot of different places. I'll put that in the link below. Um, if you haven't heard about my documentary, The Endless Season, I am an Eagles fan. 
I have a lot of Eagles content on my channel. And in 2018, I followed the team, interviewing fans, in all the different cities travel to. I went to every away game. The Endless Season, directed by, edited by, sound by, yours truly, D. Arthur Turner IV, or you can call me Art for short. Um, I also sell shirts as well. This is my Shoot Your Dreams um, tee. It's really good. I have other uh, designs as well on Teespring. I will drop that in the uh, description below as well. And the Taz Cam you can get off my Amazon affiliate link. Hope that video was good. Check out my links. Check out my other stuff. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Share with your peoples. I'll see you next time.